Hey Daniel, so here I wanted to show you what I uh, actually found out. So if you go to your page and you click on more, you can actually go down to edit tabs and under edit tabs, um, initially my groups was all the way down at the bottom because you can move these around. So if I wanted to, I think originally my groups was way down here at the bottom um, and it was off. So all you have to do is click and then I made sure I clicked off some other tabs and then um, put my groups right there. So that's how you can actually turn on the tab for groups and then um, coming back here when you click on the group you'll see that it kind of put it right there and then if you didn't have it, um, you could click link group and when you click link group, it will bring up the groups that you manage and then you can click on that and what you see is then it adds it. Um, what I also thought was really cool, so once this is done, you can do that. The other thing that I thought was really cool that I discovered was once you go to groups um, and you click on here, see how it says group by stress university so it actually then on our group page will link on our yeah so on our group it will actually link our page with this and you can see right here so that's what i found out um the other thing was i had again if i wanted to create units um which i could help organize the different weeks that I'm going to do, I had to turn it into a, uh, I had to change the settings. And I think it was down here. Um, uh, yeah, so here it was under group type. So initially, I think I had it as a general. Um, so I just had to come in here and change it to social learning. And then, um, it allowed me to be able to do this. And then the other thing that's really cool is, and I haven't, don't know how to use this yet, but you can allow members to track their progress by marking posts is done. Um, so we can just create a visual accountability. So that's what I found out and that's what I wanted to share with you. So that's it.